Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I am going to catch you up on what has been happening in my A5 Hobonichi Cousin, that a VEC that I use as a creative journal. This is over the last like several weeks because we've had colds and not COVID thankfully, just like, you know, life. So let's do it. <music> So yeah, it's just been that regular change of seasons baloney, that bologna that, you know, gets you a stuffy nose and a sore throat, and now you can't just say, oh, I'm fine, because, oh, shit, you might not be fine. So we, you know, had to get tested, and then blah, 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 but it was just a cold, uh, thankfully, and, but it just knocked us kind of on our butt, butt in skis. Now, back up, back up and operational, and catching up, and, um... I am, was, am still so behind on <laughs> answering you guys' comments and stuff. I love your comments. I just can't um, keep up. <laughs> so sometimes I want to respond to all of you and I, I just can't. So if, some, if I heard it, I read it and I loved it. And even if I didn't respond, it doesn't mean I, didn't, I, don't, I don't love you because I love you. That was weird. Um, all right. So anyways, to the journal. Last week, oh, there's just like a bunch of random stuff in here. This is going to be so jumpy aroundy. Um, I got a new tote bag, one of my favorites for Lily Queen brand from Amazon. Um, they're like 20 bucks and they're my favorite tote bags. And I wanted a new color, so I got a beautiful seasonal pumpkin color, and I put the uh, tag in there. Uh, if you love totes as much as I do, I'll leave the Amazon link below. Um, because I just retired my cream beige colored one as a work bag and got that pretty one so i don't know just if you like tote bags i'm a tote whore um and let's see what else are we putting in here oh i put a picture of the leaves last week were so beautiful it was like the peak of the leaf changing um you know just like in this last couple of days and so when i went to have coffee with my parents in the morning last week it was um gorgeous and we were sitting out on the deck because it was kind of like Indian summer so I put that die cut in there the summer vibes um that was from a die cut pack that one of you lovelies sent me and I just glued it in there and then I put a little TP. I hope that's not like a uh, racist or something like Indian summer yeah, I don't never mind that was probably bad I'm sorry um and then I put a little XXO die cut. I've been using so many die cuts this last couple of days because I had forgotten about my little pouch of die cuts and I just had some perfect ones. So that leaf was awesome. And um, I stuck in a note from somebody that sent me a beautiful pink Hobonichi Weeks cover because I'm, I'll do another video about that. I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks now um, as a planner, as like an everyday carry planner. And I fell in love with this this squishy, lovely cover. And um, it's just beautiful. It really is. Um, and then, let's see, last Wednesday, <clears throat> and she sent me the sweetest note. And um, she said, follow my Instagram, um, Petal and Thorn Plans. She was such a sweetheart. Um, and this cover is so gorgeous. So if you want to follow her on Instagram at Petal and Thorn Plans, go right ahead. She was just a real sweetheart. And then last week we had to get uh, the flu shots. The kids got their flu shots. So um, a lot of these doodles I was doing in the mornings um, when I was over at my parents for coffee. So that's why they just appear and you didn't see them get done because I was just doing them while we drank our coffee. So um, I drew a little Pusheen nurse cat. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. Oh, the flu shots, you know, I think every year that they're going to be easier and it doesn't happen, but I used bribery. I am not above it, and it worked. So I said, you know, after flu shots, we will go and look at Halloween costumes. Not that we're, you know, trick-or-treating or doing anything fun, but, <laughs> but you know, this 2020 blows. So, like, get a Halloween costume. Who cares? COVID, you suck. So um, I said, we'll go look at Halloween costumes, and... Um, we did that, and I'm putting in uh, a sticker, a hong and ding sticker of the tears, because Addie did freak out, as usual. 
<laughs> and then when we were at Target, she actually somehow, along with her really sweet Medusa costume, she managed to convince me to buy her these black patent leather combat boots with leopard laces and like a holographic strip on the heel. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> She can rock her own style, but I felt like such a grandma. This is exactly what my mother must have felt like in the 90s when she bought me all those pairs of Doc Martens and she thought, Why? What are these ugly shoes? <laughs> but anyway, she loved them and they're cute. She pulls it off extremely well. And uh, I put those little cat die cut stickers. Those were also sent to me and I wish I knew where they were from. They are adorable. And I let the kids walk home from school last week because of the nice warm weather. And uh, so that was cool. It was like uh, bittersweet because I dreamt of this moment, you know, where they would be able to do more things. And now that it's here, it makes me a little sad. But only a little, and then I'm happy that I don't have to wait in the pickup line. <laughs> so, um, yeah, more stickers. All the stickers that I, I use, I will link below. I will try anyway, if they're from Amazon. And those are uh, affiliate links, so I do get, like, a, a small commission um, if you purchase that from that. <clears throat> it doesn't make it any cheaper for you or more expensive or anything. It just, just gives me more more money to buy more stickers to show you. <laughs> Um, oh, did you see that ridiculous doodle of a turkey on that page? When I was having coffee with my parents, my dad stood up and shouted, It's a turkey! And there was, like, a herd of turkeys running across their yard, like, as fast as possible, like, wild turkeys. And then we were like, is it a herd of turkeys? No, turns out it's a rafter. A rafter of turkeys. So... That's your piece of knowledge for the day, if you did not know that. A rafter of wild turkeys. Uh, and then, let's see, that was Friday. And then um, I did put on Friday some stickers of what we're watching now. The new season of Great, uh, The British Baking Show and new season of Schitt's Creek, the last season. So we've had good TV, so that's been good. Um, Saturday was momming to the extreme. Uh, Addie had a, a birthday party in the morning um, outside where they painted some pottery. She did a rainbow llama. Um, is so very cute. And then in the afternoon, we had, um, movie afternoon. Daddy and Addie watched, um, Camp Nowhere. And which, can I tell you that 90s PG and 2020 PG are two very different things. <laughs> there was a lot of explanations going on in there, I feel. <laughs> and then Henry just finished reading all the Harry Potter books for like the third time. And he, but we haven't ever watched the last two movies because they are kind of dark and, and uh, scary. I mean, they get so dark towards the end, you know? And, um, but he really wanted to watch them and, and that's fine. Like, I just didn't want him to be scared because, some you know, he's only 10 and sometimes he still gets scared. So, but we watched him and he thought it was awesome. And he's like, <laughs> I love him. He's like, this movie's very dark. I mean, it's, it's very dark. Like, I can hardly see what's happening, but it's very dark. Like, the theme is very dark. And I was like, yeah, it is. You're so smart. <laughs> um... And then I put in that little die cut that says, so very blessed. And um, I have been just having so many planner conundrums lately. I spent some time, you know, setting up my new little weeks thing on Saturday and playing in there, um, you know, because it's just thinking of what you want to do for 2021. And planner problems just consume my brain. They're not problems. They're just obsessions, like planner obsessions. So, and I also put some Pusheen stickers, snack time, and then... Um, just a little three little kitty pusheens, I guess, um, because they make me so happy. And what else? On to Sunday. Um, this was a big piece of magazine um, that I had ripped out from Real Simple, just like a house. And Sunday, I was so much adulting. I was like cleaning and dusting and va vacuuming and mopping and I washed all the sheets and like, damn. It was a thing. And so I put a little award that said, did the thing on there. <clears throat> and um, just some stickers. Uh, and I just loved this house picture. And when I like ripped it out of the magazine, I was like, what am I ever going to do with this? But really, Sunday was just very focused on like 
resetting the house after we'd all been just like kind of sniffly and gross. And so, um, that's what it was. And, um, so that's what I put in there and, and I really like it. I love real simple and I still have two to go through. Do you guys still want me to? Cause now they're old. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the shittiest YouTuber ever. <laughs> So on Monday, which was, uh, today's Wednesday, so I'm still behind, <laughs> I had set my alarm because I had to go renew my neonatal certification, um, like NRP, um, skills. You have to do tests and then you have to go to a skills day and I just had to do the skills day, um, which I've done a zillion times, so it's no big deal, but my alarm did not go off, which, you know, is stressful. So trying to get the kids to school and get off to that class without being, uh, you know, a complete mess, um, like no combed hair or anything was a struggle, but we got there. And then after that, I just had a whole list of tasks. It was like returns up the wazoo, Target and Costco, to both to return costumes that I had gotten for Henry. And then he informed me that he didn't think he wanted to wear a costume this year, which sort of broke my heart. But then I was like, Okay, all right. <laughs> um, and then I had to drop off our ballots uh, at the the voting location. So um, I wrote vote in my pen. For this pen, um, if you're wondering what pens I've been using, um, I have my Statler fine liners. I've been using some of that. The vintage Sarasa color pens, I write with those sometimes. These are the Arteza real brush pens, which I haven't used for a while and I love them. Um, they're kind of watercolory. That's the red and the blue that I used. And let's see, I also use my Pigma Micron fine liners and my mild liners. Those are a lot of what I use in my journal. Um, and like I said, if I can find them below, I'll link them below. Um, let's see. And then I cut out, uh, on our absentee ballot directions, I just cut out the little thing where it's, it's like showed shading in the box. Cause I thought, you know, maybe when my kids are older, if they're looking through my journals, I'm sure voting will be so much different then. And you probably won't even go to a place anymore, you know? <laughs> so I thought they maybe would think that was cool. I don't know. And then I thought my old brain, well, <laughs> <clears throat> maybe not remember who I voted for. Well, I, I think in this election, I'll definitely remember who I voted for. I don't care who you vote for. Uh, well, I mean, I do, like on, on a just a human decency level. I do care, but we're not going to change each other's minds. So just go out and rock your vote. And um, be warned that the lines, if you are not just dropping off an absentee ballot, the lines are long. Man, it was long and this was not even, you know, you know, the official voting day. So uh, just make, give yourself some time and wear a mask and, and be safe. And I put this little um, die cut. I will never be a well-behaved woman. I loved that. And um, I put a little um, ribbon telling myself that I tried. <laughs> I tried to do my part to turn the world around from its shitty ass state right now. Not the world, the United States. So, um, you know, whether or not it works, we shall see. And um, I loved this die cut I got. God, I don't remember where, but I love it. And it says, there's always hope. And on the back, I put a sticker that says, if you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. So I added some stars in my little vote words. Um... And that's pretty much my um, journaling for the last couple of days. And then obviously added hearts around everything. Oh, and my um, sticker books. Let's see. The I've talked tell I'm blue about the American Craft Season sticker book. I use it so much. Um, and... I've bought it several times. Um, I think you can still find it on Amazon, but I found mine at Tuesday morning for a real steal a long time ago. So, but they're cute season stickers. And I just put, even though they're 4th of July, I put them on there just to, um, you know, get a little of the old USA flavor in there. So these are some of my pages over the last couple of days. And um, some tip-ins. Michael surprised me with some new sunglasses because there was a huge clearance sale. And um, what else? I feel like this was a million mile a minute, but I, I will be back. And I love you guys so much. I'm sorry that I keep disappearing. I really am. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.